Hello, my name's Lucy Farfort and I'm an illustrator. Thank you for joining me today and many thanks to the folks of Moon Lane TV for inviting me on. Today I'm going to be talking about this book, Happy Here, published by Knights Of, and it features 10 stories from a total of 20 authors and illustrators of Black British heritage. And I illustrated the story by Corrine Getton called Where Is Home? Having the opportunity to have an illustration in this book and be featured alongside so many talented black British authors and illustrators means a lot to me. Um, it's so refreshing to read stories about black people where the theme isn't a focus on negative experiences or trauma, but instead have a book filled with positive stories. Um, I can't overstate the importance of having books like this for black and brown people. Uh, they show our children that they're valued, their happiness is just as important as those people with light skin, and that our lives aren't just about struggle and fighting those old battles. Basically, we need more stories like this because they're good for our children's mental health. Uh, working with Knights Of is such an honour because they're a publisher that not only seeks to make books that are available more representational of the society we actually live in, but it also puts out um, positive black stories like these. After reading a draft of Corrine's story, um, I really felt moved by her characters, April and Max, and their relationship with their dad. Um, when I first read it, I had an idea that I would like to do uh, an illustration of the scene where they're skimming stones on the beach. Firstly, because it's a really happy kind of nice climactic point in the story um, and also because it's a really strong it conjures up a really strong visual image because skimming stones is something a lot of people have done so they kind of know what it is. Um, I tried out a couple of character sketches first um, to capture the personalities of the two children. So here we have uh, April who's very strong and stubborn and here we have her younger brother Max who's much more emotional and dramatic. So when I start sketching uh, characters for illustrations, I find it really helps to refer to photos um, or sketching from real life, um, just to help with getting their stance or their posture, their gesture right, so how they're sitting or how they're standing or moving around. Um, so for example here, when I was doing April's character and getting her pose right for skimming stones, I actually went to the beach with my husband and son and took some sketches and some photos of them skipping stones. My work is a mixture of both traditional and digital methods. So painting by hand and moving on to the computer where I use Photoshop to finish something off. Um, I always start off though with a trusty 2B pencil, a sheet of white paper and an eraser because I use that a lot <laughs> during the first bit of the process. Um, so when I start out, I just sketch a rough outline of the image first, just to kind of get an idea of the layout. Then I'll finalise that and I'll paint it up in watercolours. The, the watercolour paintings for me are generally quite rough. It's just to get a base of the colours and to get those nice watercolour textures into the image. So here are the original watercolour paintings I did first. So you can see this is the one of the characters. So it's got um, April. Uh, skimming a stone, Max and her dad, and separately I did the beach, well the sea, here the waves coming in, and the stone being skimmed and also the background part which is a separate part of the image, and I put them together in Photoshop on the computer. So once the watercolour painting has been scanned onto my computer or into um, my iPad, I will use uh, Procreate or Photoshop and add some transparent colour over the top to make the colours bolder. I will add maybe some more details and some extra texture or pattern and I'll also often go over the outline and add shading and some light. 
So here's the final image and a snippet of the story which inspired it. I follow him down to where Dad is waiting patiently. He hands me a stone and I bend my knees, twist my arm and flick the stone low. It spins and skims the waves one, two, three times. I jump in the air, eyes wide with shock that I had done it first time. How did you do that, Mac pouts. Dad high fives me April first time, I smile from ear to ear, my heart feeling something I have not felt in a long while. Do it again, Max says, or it's beginner's luck. I walk to the edge of the beach, turn sideways, squint into the horizon and flick another stone. It skims the waves, one, two, three, four times. I turn, them, turn to them, arms in the air, triumphant a second time. For budding artists and illustrators out there, if there are any, I can really recommend sketching from life. Um, just getting out there with your sketchbook and a pencil and drawing people, get going about their everyday, just because it's really helpful for loosening up your style um, and helping you to master pose. Uh, so when you get out there, you don't sort of get caught up in doing the little details and perfecting your work. It's just good practice. Um, and you can just go to the beach or the park, a train station, somewhere where there are lots of people milling about and going about that every day. Um, and you know what? The summertime is really a great time to do this. So when I went for a break recently, um, I took my trusty sketchbook and uh, some colouring pencils and a pen just a graphite pencil. And uh, here's some clips of me sketching and some of the work I made. Ultimately, the most important thing about drawing is to have fun with it. Now, good luck to any aspiring artists and illustrators out there. I might see you out and about sketching some point with your sketchbooks. And I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and enjoy reading Happy Here. I should also say that for those people who might not be able to afford the book, there are some free copies available from the freebookscampaign.co.uk website. Thank you. Bye.